So we need the baptism of fire. Welcome to today's DDRX. We're still making decrees today from the secret place. We want to decree the fire of the Holy Ghost. You see, fire has impact. It consumes, it purifies, it exposes, it provides light. In Malachi 3 verse 2, the Bible says, But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like launderer's soap. In Acts 2, 1 to 3, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each one of them. You see, we need the fire of the Holy Ghost. And of the angels, he says in Hebrews 1, 7, who makes his angel spirit and his ministers a flame of fire. In Matthew 3, 11, John the Baptist said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sanders am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. So we need the baptism of fire. We need new zeal, new passion, new power, new enthusiasm, new drive, new grace, new gifts. So let's decree together. Father, let your fire fall on us. Baptize us with your fire. Your fire, let it continue to burn in me. Let there be transformation of my entire being. Let my words become fire and compelling. Let my age be renewed like that of the ego. Let me become a blessing to many around me. In Jesus' name, amen.